back you way. So, you probably realised how when you are in groups or when you're with your boys and you've got your whole, you know, the lads around you and you're walking down the street on a night out or something like that, or you're in the gym and you're all socialising and having a good time, you probably realised how easy it is to be confident, to be brave, to be charismatic, to be outgoing, to be the guy that you want to be, basically. It's very easy to do that when you are surrounded by other people that know who you are, that you can trust. And the reason I say this is because I noticed that when I was younger and I started to try and be a bit more confident, a bit more social and outgoing, I was trying to be the person that I am today, basically. I noticed that, okay, why is it that when I'm in groups, I feel completely fine, I feel confident, I feel like I can be that guy. But then when I'm by myself, and then I wanna go and approach a girl, then I wanna go and, you know, feel brave and feel confident and feel like invincible, basically, I can't do it. Why is that? Because you probably noticed that, let's say you're surrounded by your boys right now, let's say me and you were together, we're doing, we're doing a real life coaching meetup, yeah? We're having a good time, we're on a night out together, just having a laugh. And then I tell you, that group of girls over there, go and approach them. Isn't it much easier for you to do it when you're surrounded by me or your boys or someone else that you trust than if you were completely by yourself and then you had to go and approach a girl? You can see the different dynamic here, right? And I want to find out why this is. And I was thinking about it as I was walking in before I kicked that poor guy in the head. What is it? What's the difference? And what I realized is you have two levels of confidence, two different types of confidence. Fucking wind. The first one is external confidence. And obviously, as the name states, pretty self-explanatory. External confidence is your confidence based on how other people perceive you. So when you're in your group of guys that you know they like you, you know that you guys get along and you guys are all cool, whatever, you are socially validated when you're around that group. Hence why you feel, yeah, I am, I am okay. I am the fucking guy. I am the man. That's why you feel brave and invincible, right? Because you've already been socially validated. But when you're by yourself, you haven't already had that external level of validation because you've not spoke to anyone yet. You're kind of just, you're by yourself, right? This is what makes it 10 times harder to be the man that you want to be, to be confident when you are by yourself versus other people. So external confidence is you feel confident because other people have validated you. You feel confident because other people have told you how good you are, or you just at least know that other people perceive you as a positive person because you're in their, their life, right? You're around them. Now, internal confidence is the opposite. Internal confidence is I'm confident in myself because I know what I'm capable of. I'm proud of the actions that I do on a day-to-day -day basis. Okay, so you understand the difference, yeah? External is kind of like an ego boost. Internal is kind of like pride. It's like, I feel proud of myself. I feel proud of who I am, of, of my actions, right? There's the difference. Now, the reason why when you're by yourself, you are not confident and the way that we can solve this is by making sure that your internal confidence is in alignment with the external confidence. So when somebody gives you a compliment and they say, oh, bro, you're looking big. Let's say you're in the gym. You're looking hench, bro. You're looking big. You must've been training hard. Or let's say a girl tells you how attractive you are or something like that, right? That gives you that external confidence that helps you walk around feeling brave, feeling invincible, feeling like the fucking man. Now to match that internally, to, for you to genuinely believe that, you have to make sure that your actions on a day-to-day -day basis are in alignment with the man that you want to be. Okay, so you cannot walk around feeling brave, feeling invincible, feeling like the fucking man if you go home and watch pornography or if you're doing things that you know you shouldn't be doing, if you're wasting time, if you're procrastinating, if your mental health is bad, if you're just drinking alcohol and smoking weed all day, how are you going to feel internally confident and proud of yourself if they're the actions that you're doing? So in order to change this, to make sure that you get to a position that I've made myself in now, where I can have that same level of confidence where I can just record out here in the open in front of other people and truly believe in myself without any anxiety or insecurity or fear of what other people are going to think. It's as if I'm always surrounded by my boys. You know what I mean? So even if I do something embarrassing, I got my boys to back me up, it's all good. It's like I've always got that level of confidence. I've always got that level of courage and bravery there because I know that my internal confidence is the same as when I'm around other people. It's the exact same. My external and internal are the exact same. So I feel just as confident in my own mind now than if a girl told me I was attractive. It's the same level of confidence. And the way that I do that is through my own brain and through my actions in the physical world. So you've got to combine the mental and the physical, right? Mentally, I always keep myself positive. I always tell myself positive things. Very simplistic, self-explanatory, right? I just tell myself I'm the fucking man. I'm attractive. Look at the jawline. Look at the gains. I just big myself up in this almost 
arrogant, I guess you could say, way in my own mind, right? And then physically, I'm obviously doing things to make myself proud. I'm working out, I'm in the gym, I'm exercising, I'm not indulging in bad habits, etc., etc. So naturally, I feel just internally confident in who I am as a man. I know myself, I know what my weaknesses are, I know my strengths. In brutal honesty, I'm aware of exactly who I am. So that nothing anyone ever says in the external world can have a negative impact on me because I know who I am. So if somebody says, oh, you're arrogant, or you're a bit big headed. It doesn't affect me. I don't sit there and think, oh my God, oh my God. Is that how people think? Like, I know that I'm not arrogant. I know that I'm not a big headed person. Okay. Those people that are saying that simply just don't know who I am. They haven't gotten to know me enough. So this gives, gives, gives me a level of just unshakable confidence to the point where I can do and live life the way I want to do it without worrying about what other people might think. If I want to go and approach that girl over there, that's what I'm going to do. If I want to record these videos in public, that's what I'm going to do. If I want to do meditation in the middle of a park with no top on, that's what I'm going to do. So it's like I don't allow people's external perception of me to change my confidence because the things I do on a day-to-day -day basis match the man that I want to be. Does that make sense? So basically, to summarize, so you can actually take something from this, make sure that your physical actions are things that you are proud of, work out, look after your body, take care of your health, make sure your mental health is good as well, meditate, you know, journal, take time to visualize the life that you want and, and work towards that. And if you do this enough and you are brutally honest with who you are as a person, you know yourself, what your weaknesses are, you're honest with yourself, you don't lie to yourself, you know, okay, I'm, I'm bad at talking to girls or I'm bad at making money or maybe I'm a bit arrogant sometimes or maybe, you know, physically, maybe I need to work on my belly or maybe my arms are too skinny or whatever it may be, whatever your weaknesses are, Hone in on them, be honest with them, acknowledge them, okay? And then simply work on them. That gives you true level of confidence because even if someone says, oh bro, you're a bit fat, you are be like, yeah, I know, I'm working on it. <laughs> Thanks bro, do you know what I mean? It's like nothing, it just bounces off you, nothing affects you. Just keep that in mind. Coaching is down below in the description if you wanna learn more from me on a personal level. I've also got a sexual mastery video course down below as well. If you wanna learn how to quit pornography, cure premature ejaculation, erectile dysfunction, all of those kind of things down below in the description. And also to finish off, I'm gonna be releasing a one-to-one -one in real life coaching. So if you live in the UK and you're interested in meeting me in person, becoming basically my friend, one of the boys, one of the brothers, you can apply for a one-to-one -one coaching session in real life. I will come and visit you in your UK town, your UK city. And we'll basically just spend the day together, go on a night out, hit a workout, go get some food. And I'll give you like a review of who you are as a person and I'll help you work on your weaknesses. Maybe you're bad at approaching girls. We'll go and approach some girls together. I'll wingman you, right? And it's basically a chance to personally save yourself all the years that I've had to learn this stuff and you can just instantly jump straight to the top. So if you're interested in that, it's not currently out. So go to the Fiverr and when, I've do, when I have released it, it's gonna be a higher price than it is currently. So if you are interested in it before I release it, you can DM me on Instagram and just say, Luke, I'm interested in meeting you in real life for a coaching session. This is where I live. This is how old I am, etc., etc. And I'll basically get back to you when I can. And we will organize a real life meetup, a real life coaching session for as long as you want. You know, you can pick the time. Obviously, the price will vary depending on how long you pick. But once that's done, you get it at a cheaper price than obviously when it's released. So I recommend if you are interested in this, get in there now. I'll tell you the price in through Instagram and um, you can get it much cheaper before it releases to the public. So see you soon. Bye.